My bo and Jimmy, my bo is so happy. Cuteness is justice, that's why he's loved by Jimmy. My bo and Jimmy, Jimmy's so silly. Cuteness is justice, that's why my bo loves Jimmy. Hello everyone, this is Mabo and Jimmy. Welcome back to our channel. Hey, hey, hey. Finally, meet the queens of Drag Race Season 17. Can you imagine it's 17? It's been 10 seasons since we were watching, you know, live. Yeah, because yeah. we caught in on what season? Season 7. Yeah. yeah. So, wow, it's been 10 years. Damn. Cool. <laughs> so, let's see you ready who's gonna be on and it's like an hour show yeah. the actual show cool wow three two one it's january 14 new queens are making 14. a splat it's a lot dive into the most twisted season wow. yet everybody looks good so far okay. wow, this song. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Let's go. Wow. 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 Thank you. Bad. Another level. <laughs> really, truly. I mean, for their promos at least. January 3rd, January 3rd Friday. MTV. A month from now. Yeah. Queen reveal. Rainy runway. Ah, oh, Nibia. Oh, it is Nibia. <laughs> wow. Looks amazing. Wow, so water is swirling around. Oh, on the actual. Well, the, yeah, I guess it looks like it. Wow. It's a fabric. Amazing. Wow. And it looks like liquid. Yeah. <laughs> we love her. Wow. <laughs> We thought she might be hosting, so we're, we're wearing t-shirts from her. Hello, it's Nymphia Wynn, yes. the reigning drag superstar. 14 new queens are making waves this season. Are you ready to meet the queen? Yeah. Yes. This is new. Like, this like, is in a studio. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, even doing, yeah, that costs some money. Wow. That's cool, look. It's pants. Those are pants. Yeah. Fabulous. Get the hat. Gorgeous. Love it. I probably said when you make your outfit, it might get wet. All right. That'd be good to know if you're going to be stomping through water. Yeah. Arietti. Arietti. Yeah. 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 Fabulous. Uh, the makeup. I like the way yeah. she's dragging her feet. It's an awesome look. Yeah, I can't even wrap my brain around that with it. Wow. Stunning. Truly stunning. Crystal Envy. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty too. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. What a the jellyfish, yeah. the coral reef. Stuff that can be off the yeah. coral reef. It's definitely something in the ocean. That's yeah. brilliant. Ooh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's that, awesome. That even tops the previous one. Never seen that. Oh my God, look at the hips. Yeah. The hips. Yeah. That. Oh my God. This is truly incredible. <laughs> Hormona Lisa. Like Mona Lisa? Uh, She's Hormona Lisa. Yeah, it can't be one. <laughs> okay. 
crystal bathing suit. I want more. <laughs> so she's giving us hips. That's funny. <laughs> that was probably the last shot they took. Yeah. They're like, just do now, some dumb. Now how the hip pads are all wet. <laughs> are they now? No, like, no, right. They could, yeah, they couldn't have done that. She's dripping. Yeah, sponge is soaking up. <laughs> and dripping. <laughs> this is beautiful, basis though. Jewel sparkle. Is it, though? It, yeah, it is. Legs, legs, legs. Yeah. Yeah, she's... Cliffhangers. <laughs> it looks like they're walking on water. They did a really yeah. good job in the studio. Her bag is just one big... Pear shaped diamond. It's like a jellyfish yeah. in the bottom part. I wonder uh, what the ethnicity of uh, the elephant We'll like find it. out. She looks great. Yeah. Joella. Looks like kimchi esque <laughs> in the face, just the face, not the makeup. Yeah. Oh, it's just look. Yeah. Uh, the That's cool, boots. They like match. Everything matches. Like in the color of the boots, it's yeah. from right on. Hair, right on. So it's lights that are giving her the highlights in her hair. Because as she moves, I think it changes. Yeah. Corey King. Oh. Nobody used this color yet. Yeah, that's that kind of iridescent gray, yeah. black. That's. Beautiful. The way the light hits it. Uh, it's like really like water right now. That water. Yeah. But I wouldn't think of that as water unless it's black water. Right. Be black water. Be bump rolling. It's cold though. Like, it looks like reflecting water. It's, like a yeah, metallic. Like that fabric going around the hostess. Good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Simple, shapely, effective in all ways. The lights hitting it. Yeah. Usually that color like, Lana goes Jure. away. But yeah. It, it was not. It looks the same fabric that she was using. Yeah, right. Or similar. That's beautiful for water. That's beautiful. Um, reminds me of the uh, avatar, you know, those fairies. Yes. She's beautiful. Yeah. It's stunning. Look at her face. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Uh -huh. Lexi Love. Wow. That's quite effective. Is that just is paint? It paint? No. Is it how to jump? It's a, it's a cat dumping suit, suit that is so skin tight that it shows her belly button. Or there's or that's painted on. I can't imagine that's painted on. No, that's a suit. You can see in the sleeves. Mm. Wow. Unbelievable. I've never seen this. But it, it looks skin tight. It looks painted on yeah. the, when you go down to the bottom of the leg. She might be painting. If it is, that's, it stayed on. Yeah. It must have. Oh my God. Lucky stars. That was stunning. They're really killing it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. definitely aquatic. It's not yeah. my fate. I like it. Yeah. More plastic. -y. It just looks like a costume, but... It looks great. It's, it's, it's really beautiful. That makes sense. With yeah. This. The whole thing is put together beautifully, but I like some of the other. Wow. It's so hard to get on the show now. Like, you can gonna... <laughs> You're gonna have some money. Yeah. Oh my god, look at her butt. Shape. Yeah, beautiful shape. I don't think it looks padded. If it is, that's beautiful. Padded. Pretty legs. Oh my god. That's cool. Sleep dress. It's definitely different from everybody else. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a sea woman. 
seaman, sea woman, sea woman, a sea thing creature on your nerve. <laughs> <laughs> Like a deep sea creature. Oh, I like that raincoat. Yeah, she took the raincoat off, but she's got like a rain shirt. That's cool. Underneath, that's cute. You're doing a great job in the movement, too. Mm -hmm. Sam Star. <laughs> Name. <laughs> Whoa. Been the evangelista. <laughs> she that kind of pretty. Uh, oh my god. Wow. Wow. Oh. Wow. Pretty. That smile. The mouth open. Stunning. Susie Toot. And Susie Toot. Pointies, flapper esque. Uh, no. No, uh, it is. It's pretty. No. I like the hat. I like the shape of the body. Yeah. But it's real. I wonder if she was going for like the 20s. It's kind of 20s esque. Yeah. That's like a big page. It's know? very 20s. Yeah, it's, that's what it is to me. Flapper girls. Is it that fuck? It's time to get ready for the most twisted season yet. Here again are the queens of season 17. Woo! Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Alrighty. <laughs> Crystal Envy. I like that one. The Mona Lisa. <laughs> Jewel Sparkle. Joella. Corey King, Lana Jare, Lexi Love, I, 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 I. Lucky Stars with a Z, <laughs> three Z, Linda Collins, Anya No, <laughs> Sam Star, the one with the pretty smile, Susie Toot. <laughs> Yeah, great cast. Oh, um, gum up my nose. Why did you stick gum up your nose? I don't like your tone. <laughs> I'll put gum up my nose whenever I please. <laughs> my name is Acacia Forgot. I'm from, from Los Angeles. I feel like I am one of the most forgetful people in the world, so I had to pay homage to that. And I just wanted something a little fun. I don't want a boring pageant name. I've had friends who like have known me for like a year or two and then they're like, hey, Acacia forgot. I now I get it. <laughs> the drag scene in LA is and very skimpy, very hot and sexy, which is not me. So I like to gravitate towards the country music scene where I can oh. take my guitar and play like a 45 minute set, maybe bring a band. Oh, that's cool. Some cowboy hat, see some little butts and wrangles. I want to see, I want to see. Cowboy boots. I play the guitar, the mandolin, the piano, the banjo, the dobro, the ukulele, the harmonica, the button accordion, and the piano accordion. And I also play the skin flute. <laughs> <laughs> if you come to engage for the show, you're getting a <laughs> to check out. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Someone who really inspires me is Dolly Parton because of the dramatic features, the glitz, the glamour, the blonde hair. She's the most universally loved person, statistically. Just having no hate towards other people, respecting everyone's walk of life. Is that where you're like, no. I uh, have a lot of judgment towards different people. <laughs> what is it different than any other queen? I mean, there's not many queens who play the guitar, for starters. I bring a sense of style that a lot of girls don't. I think there's a lot of ugly girls in the world. I feel like I stand out because I'm not. <laughs> I've heard from a lot of people that they think I'm a bitch when they first meet yeah, me. Yeah, I love it. Approachable. Yeah. Baseball. I feel a little Oscar, spicy. I did swimming for like 13 years. <laughs> I was a competitive Irish dancer. I was like really little when I did it and I saw like, Irish dance. dance. My oh. dance was like, I want to do that. I want to look like Michael Flatley and do my little thing. <laughs> I'm America's next drag superstar because I think it is time for a live musician 
to win the crown and take drag to places that drag is not going. Like every little dive bar hole around this country. <laughs> Why do I do drag? What is that question? <laughs> That's Damn. Damn. My name is Arietti, and I'm Arietti? from Seattle, Washington. I got Arietti from a Miyazaki film. <laughs> Growing up, I drew a lot, and I was more like artsy, so I sculpture. I love cartoons, anime, I love it all, right. the fantasy. The drag scene in Seattle is very oh, cool. Seattle, no. It's alternative. You can have more fun with drag. You can mess around with different numbers, you can test things. Throwing your balls to the wall and smashing them with the pumpkin. Holy sh! It is hot in this bitch. I'm burning up. <laughs> oh my god. What makes me different is I'm artsy. I have a different eye for drag. These girls can't talk shit. Don't. I don't want to talk to you. But it's true. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> if you talk to me, I would say hey, and then literally run the away. Secret talent of like making people mad. Are you very sister? <laughs> I'm not the type of person to be, you know, in everyone's business. I like to live my life. I like to go... see if she stays this way. Yeah. The biggest misconception about me is I'm good at everything. Everyone has flaws. I'm flawed. I'm a flawed person. I am very competitive. Actually, yes or no? Because I always pay attention to other people. I just like to do my thing. And if it's good, it's good. If it's not, hey. Jealousy is something that I don't have in my body. I'm sorry, that's for the weak and for the girls who are ugly, but we are in a competition. <laughs> so yes, I will throw a bitch down the stairs. Oh my God. Before. When another queen comes for me, I like to play with them. Like rock. Right. I like to just like slap it around. Grab it by the towel and you do this with it. <laughs> okay. It's like she doesn't she care. Doesn't but doesn't she get TV. Yeah. I'm America's Next Jack Superstar because I have something y'all haven't seen before. And I'm a cool girl. <laughs> I'm like a kid. I make weird noises. I like to play around. Wow. So I am Crystal Envy and I am from Asbury Park, New Jersey. I started doing drag at you 18 years old, stealing my mom's mask concealer and my younger sister's little outfit. And I would feel the fantasy in my room. I would get bullied going into school as like a young queer boy. So when I came home and got into drag, I felt like I had this armor. Crystal came from me always being obsessed with like shiny things, anything that glitter glistens, if you will. Is Crystal is also a play on my out of drag name, Chris. So it just phonetically sounds really pleasing to me. And then Envy I came up with because at 13 years old, I just knew I was going to always be the most sickening bitch in the room. And everyone always envies me. The drag scene in Asbury Park is quite competitive. Sometimes the queens get overlooked in New Jersey because New York is right there, but New Jersey is just as sickening as New York, maybe. The Paradise in Asbury Park has been around for 20 plus years. I am a former Miss Paradise. There's a bunch of other girls that have competed for it. They haven't won, but I've won. When you come to a Crystal Envy show, you're getting a production. You're going to be encapsulated the entire time. While I'll really win with the way I looked when I first stepped out on stage, Halfway through, I'm going to do a reveal or a stunt, and you're going to gag. And then at the end, I'm going to finish it with a beautiful finale and a cherry on top, and you're just going to live for the rest of your life. Hey, she knows what she's doing. Yeah. She's big. I'm a makeup artist at heart. That's my job. That's my day job. I also love doing hair. I took dance when I was a kid. I was always involved in musical theater. I sew. My grandma nice. to sew from a young age. There was hand stitching buttons on oh, like that. three years old. Everyone thinks I'm a bitch when they first meet me, and I don't know why. I think it's all the and all the Botox I have. Worried like, about her. Much. Yeah. And pretty girls get a bad rap, you know? It's like the Regina George mentality, I think. But I'm such a selfless person. I will take care of you before I take care of myself. If you need a pair of shoes, I'll take them off my feet for you because you forgot yours. You need an earring, it's yours. We're all here for each other at the end of the day, and drag is about sisterhood. That's what connects us. Sometimes girls think I'm just the look queen. And that's not the key. The look is the most important because if you look like people are just going to think whatever else you present to them is. I say, okay, good. <laughs> Competitiveness, I'm a 15 out of 10. I like to compete. I like to win. People are like, no, I and team. No, I, me, me, I, and I want to win. Point blank, period. If another thing would come for me, I would just come back. I mean, I just get angry. I just get really mad. I'm going to make you probably want to cry. Don't piss me off. Ask my man. Hello.
What am I most nervous about this season? I'm always nervous about everything because I feel like when you're nervous, that just means you care. Nervous is a good thing. If you asked my younger queer self at 13 years old doing drag in my bedroom, would you be on Drag Race? The answer would be yes. So I expected this. I am America's yeah. next drag superstar because, I mean, bitch, do you see this coming on here? I'm talented, I'm beautiful, I give you things that you've never seen before at shows, I can dance, I can sing, and I can make you laugh. And I'm super, super humble, the most humble. These bitches are ugly. So, why wouldn't you want to put a crown on my head? <laughs> There's a fly right there. Go back to hell where you belong. Oh, this is the, not the swinging I mean, suit. Maybe that's actually just a fuzzy and it's not a fly. <laughs> I'm like a frog, like, ready for the fuzzy. Okay. They may look like she stuck something in her mouth. <laughs> Hi. She looks great there. Yeah. I'm hanging on with your hair and a biscuit. How are you doing? Hair My name biscuit. is Pomona Lisa and I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee. My Tennessee. drag name comes from two words. One being hormonal because I'm a little black dude, a little crazy. And the other being Mona Lisa because I went to art school. I didn't finish. I uh, dropped out. But I still went. <laughs> the drag thing in Chattanooga is really cute. I would have to say I'm probably like the best one in every way, especially like what the core. I wouldn't say we have a ton of boogers, but I don't know what a step up from a booger would be, but we have some of those as well. My <laughs> style is very heavily influenced by old Hollywood glamour, Marilyn Monroe, but also a little bit of her home Disney. Her gonna hate her. Yeah, right? <laughs> I like her career. Or a lover for me. I have like the lore, <laughs> ruffles, I do a lot of pink, but I like other colors like fuchsia. I guess that's still a pink, but who cares? I would say what sets me apart from the other girls in this competition is that I have a good credit score at over one. I don't know about everybody else, but they probably should get my own show I think they probably need it. I also have pretty feet, too. Some of their feet look like pretty gnarly when you see my neck. Get that checked out, girl. <laughs> I think the biggest misconception about me is that I lack intelligence. I think just with the mild ADHD stuff, I have a degree in marketing and business administration at interior architecture, and I'm almost done with my MBA. Yeah, I'm smart. <laughs> when another queen comes for me, it's a lot cry. I'm going to come for her back. It's going to be like a 33% chance of each one, which actually doesn't equal 100. Now that I just said it out loud, it's like 99. The other one for <laughs> my mama has goats. Okay, sorry. That was supposed to be like very poetic, but I think it was just word vomit. Is that the word? Or word soup? I don't know. I don't like soup. So. <laughs> I just had a salad so much. I skipped the soup. <laughs> I smell like vanilla. Flowers, a bakery, but like a sweet bakery, not like an overwhelming like yeasty bakery. So, no, never the yeasty bakery. <laughs> not that. Oh my god, I can't believe. I can't believe we're on Meet the Queens right now. What is life? My name is Jill Sparkles. <laughs> what is I life? Am from Tampa, Florida. I was an Instagram Sorry. girl when I first started doing drag. That's why I picked jewels, because jewels are things that don't really have a purpose besides being pretty and gorgeous and shiny. But, you know, over time, you got to give the full fantasy. you got to give a show. And so I've learned to sparkle. <laughs> the drag scene in Tampa is very much so you think you can dance. The girls are flying to the ceilings, cartwheels. I'm so happy I grew up in that environment because it taught me to like really learn how to give a show. My drag is very visually pleasing. I love to give a look first, but not only do I give the look, but I give the face. I always say I'm like a Polly Pocket that can't always find her clothes. Very cheesy aesthetic. I do love a good bow here and there and very naked. Sorry, I forgot my, my skirt. I don't know where it went. <laughs> I do drag because I don't know what else I would do if I didn't do drag. I mean, I feel like that's all I'm good for. I feel like the angel that I was always meant to be when I'm in drag. I do drag to survive. <laughs> With makeup and okay. doing makeup so much. She reminds me of like Dayla when like she was on the first time. Like, drag really like it really has fa facade. Like, I think the first impression you think is this is her facade, is right? I yeah, I feel bitch. like, or I, I don't know. Like a mean girl or fake. But no, I'm just a really bubbly person. I don't think I'm like calculated enough to be a bitch. I'm just here to party. I'm a good time girl. I'm a very competitive person. I came here to win. I will do anything for the crowd. She doesn't have the character but voice like that. Right. Compete in competitive pantomime. I was the fiercest pantomiming diva in Florida. Clock that T. Clock it. I am Puerto Rican and I am Cuban. And oh, so okay, I'm so visiting my family in Puerto that was, Rico. Uh, that and game. my cousin oh. was obsessed with Drag Race. Shout out to Alonga. Hey, queen. Feeling I and she felt was like, you need to watch the show. Mm. And then she put on the season 10 reunion. It was just like light bulbs went off. It was like confetti started flying. 
And I'm imagining like confetti and light bulbs like in the back of the <laughs> Everything just made sense after that. As soon as I got back home from Puerto Rico on that trip, I would practice my makeup in my room every single day. I would watch a different tutorial from a different queen. And I pretty much did that every day for like three years until I started performing. And here we are now on Drag Race, which is so full circle. What a dream come true. I'm, I'm so lucky. <laughs> I am America's next drag superstar because we haven't had a Latino winner in a very long time, okay? We need Latinas with a crown on. There hasn't been a Puerto Rican winner of Drag Race. It would be so major to represent Puerto oh, Rico. She's really like, pretty. Yeah. A Latina queen that I know Puerto Rican deserve. Latina, I'm coming. For la crown. Bye. I do not call out of these gigs unless it's an emergency or if I'm sick. The emergency is like, oh my God, this guy called me. He said he wanted us to talk. And I said, okay. Feels like an emergency. I'll go. <laughs> Feels like an emergency. I'll go. <laughs> My name is Joella, and I am from LA. The drag scene in Los Angeles, it's competitive, but no one wants to admit it. You gotta be real, but you also have to kind of be a fake bitch to make it in LA. So the story of my drag name, I'm Joey. When I was in high school, I had a friend and he would call me Joella. So when I started drag, I was looking for a feminine version of my boy name. And it was either Josephine or Joella. And who the f is gonna be walking around here named Josephine? The kind of drag kind of like just... classic drag with a modern twist. The big hair, big jewelry, big stones, big everything, you know. I am definitely a more is more queen. I just drag to survive. I feel like in this world, I always have to fight for like what I need and to be represented and to feel respected. And through drag, I went from someone that people didn't give a f about, who they would always make fun of, who they would always turn a blind eye to. But ever since I started drag, people started paying attention to me. When I step into the room, like in and out of drag, I demand to be respected at all times. I'm a very big arachnophobe. Whenever I walk into a room, I immediately start scanning all corners and walls for spiders. Oh my god, I can't do spiders, girl. Arachnophobe, I thought that's what she said. They either think I'm super shy and like I don't talk, I'm innocent, or they think I'm a rude ass bitch and that I'm too bold and I talk too much. Or they think I'm just like a sweet, outgoing person. These bitches don't know what my next move is. They don't know what to do with me. I am. She's naturally funny. There's like a lot she's, of things. She's not and trying to be funny. You can wear a body she's just talking with and funny makeup and hair, and you'll get more compliments than me. And I said, no, girl, I'm gonna get the compliments, and I'm gonna be the one that everybody stands up for after they perform. I'm gonna be in the forefront. I am not a back to These are the hoes. If another queen comes for me, that bitch better watch the f*** out because, girl, I will read a bitch down and I don't give a f If you want to come for me, bitch, you better be flawless. A lot of people love to come for me behind my back. I was busy performing. You were sitting on your couch talking shit on the phone. There's a clear difference between me and you, baby. My first memory when I started watching Drag Race, one of my best friends in a Carl's Jr showed me the video of Tatiana versus Alyssa Edwards oh. to Shut Up and Drive, and it changed my life. I was very hooked. I was so hooked I started drag myself. Wow. Being on the 17th season of RuPaul's Drag Race means the world to me. Bitch, we're at the top of the game in drag right now. Every single bitch that does drag, no matter how much they want to deny it, they all want to do RuPaul's Drag Race. And all these bitches that wanted to hold me down and didn't want me to get my flowers, they get to see me doing Meet the Queens for RuPaul's Drag Race season 17. And that's gaggy, isn't it, bitch? <laughs> what? That was so good. I <laughs> entertainment and payment. <laughs> that's my life. Hey, it's fun. For a king. Welcome back to the pit stop. My name is Monet Exchange, and we're going <laughs> to. Paul Driver, season 17. I'm sorry. <laughs> that sounds like her. My name is Corey King and I am from Boston, Massachusetts. I'm very lazy. I don't like a pun name. I don't like porn on the cob, pool water. I'm not that girl. I like a regular name. So my real last okay. name is King. So that's just my real last name. And then also Corey is just like a unisex. It's very like endogenous. The drag scene in Boston, honestly, is as sweet as St. Lucia. No, seriously. It's good. It's very diverse. We have a lot of, you know, alternative queens, a lot of showgirls. Everyone in Boston is Boston. shaped for the wake of the beast. 
if you're in Boston, mama, the backstage just looks like a mouse. Just with some people. I am doing things. I have no queens as anymore. I wear breath, corset, pants, fishnets. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy these days. I want to look like a walking hourglass with a double stack wig. Now, yeah, see that. Here again. That's a very six strength. Hey, let's keep going. I do drag because I am an artist and I'm good at it. I'm not that girl that sits here like, oh my God, I do drag because when I stood up, lash on it, I just be alive. Like, girl, no, it's not giving that. I want to entertain the crowd. I'm not doing the seaside track. You want to hear Kelly Clarkson, <laughs> and I'm going to do that. And I will be doing Kelly Clarkson. Trust. White girls love Kelly Clarkson. I'm not going to lie. You know, some girls sitting there like, a lot of people think that I'm like really a bitch, but I'm like actually really nice. Like, oh my God, do something else. Do something else. Open the fucking <laughs> book and say something else. If you really think that, like, oh my god, like, I'm just such a bit. No. <laughs> She's so imitating soft. somebody, yeah. like, <laughs> from a <laughs> hometown. <laughs> or a whole bunch <laughs> of people. So why are you going to teach them when they're down? They're pretty struggling. Life's already hard for them already. There's a <laughs> on survival mode. You cannot argue with ugly bitches. Being on the 17th season of RuPaul's Drag Race is as sweet as St. Louis Honestly, this sounds so bad. It feels cool. I mean, a lot of girls are like, this was a dream come true when I really prayed for my road to the For me, it was like, girl, I knew I was going to get here. Some of you really pray on stars. Just go pray up on that draft. Put some prayers down and pick up that wig. I have a feeling that this season is going to be giving the most Unhinged, your breastplate matches her skin yeah. of all time. I am America's next drag superstar because I am as sweet as they lose I'm not changing it. That's the answer. I got it. We got it. A lot of people think I'm a tall. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's because I'm tall, but I am a very, 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 very powerful bottom. Well, not powerful bottom. I'm just a bottom. I mean, I can power bottom on occasion. If it calls for it, I will clock in. <laughs> what does that look like? Bottom. The Olympics. Oh, the Olympics. That looks my like Simone Biles. I come to my original name because my middle name is Jure, but I put Lana in front of you. So I'll like actually Lana work Jure, on but a lot of people think Biles. Of Jure, which is okay, I guess. Lana Dory fan, I love you. <laughs> the drag scene is very cutthroat in New York. Everywhere you look, there's a drag queen. So it's very hard to stand out, but I do a good job of doing it because I'm beautiful. <laughs> My favorite place to perform at is probably Boffer's Hill Kitchen because that stage is very deep and the audience doesn't pay attention, so you have to work for it. And I love working for something. I do a pretty good job at getting tips, so I think I'm pretty good. My drag is very femme, very woman-like. I'm wearing stones now, so don't get used to it. I don't like wearing all the big pageant stuff. It's not my cup of tea. It's more fashion, supermodel of the world type tea. But you know, I love to look sexy and yeah. wear nothing. What makes me different than any other queen is, you know, I look very beautiful, we know that, but I also can perform. And I'm also very funny because before I was beautiful, I was very ugly growing up, so I had to be the class clown. I didn't grow up until later in life, so you can only imagine how funny I had to be to survive. My favorite part of drag is probably putting on lashes and taking it off. Being in drag is very uncomfortable. It's very easy to look comfortable in drag, but I'm in a lot of pain right now. So once I get out of this and I can actually let everything breathe, I can finally relax. <laughs> I'm screaming on the inside, but beauty is pain, and I am the most beautiful. <laughs> I consider myself to be extremely competitive. I like to see with myself because I can be a better person than I was the day before. In New York City. And that just uh, helps me win the end. The bar is right by my brother's you house. You have to win oh. to lose, then lose to win. Down. It's all a strategy. Everything in here is calculated. Lots of math. One plus Michael one. Michael lives in health kitchen. Three plus three. If another queen were to come for me, I would probably laugh. And I would probably tell them what they said is probably true. And if they want to fight, we can listen to get out. I have to downplay my strength so then they expect me to not be good. And then I show up and I show up. So yeah, I'm not a good lip singer. No, never. I've never done that before in my life. <laughs> I am so scared of Michelle. I fear Michelle more than I fear my own mom. If Michelle doesn't like me, I think I would actually cry. So I have to make sure I can do everything in my power to make sure that she loves me better than everyone else. I'm going to buy her a box of chocolates because everyone loves chocolate. I'm not scared of RuPaul because like I love RuPaul and I don't like RuPaul. So to me, RuPaul is like God, but I'm not scared of God. So why would I be scared of RuPaul? But I'm scared of Michelle because Michelle's mother. And you should be scared of mom. <laughs> my first memory of watching Jagger, I actually thought it was America's Next Top Model because it was season 8, episode 1, and I saw Naomi Smalls walking. Oh, 
And I was like, this is literally Tyra Banks. And then I watched it and realized that that was, I made this game as a woman. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. I want to do this. And I did it. It means the entire world to be on the 17th season of Drag Race because seven is actually my lucky number. And seven plus one is eight. And I eat. I keep eating because I just eat everything that I do. I am America's next Jack superstar. Hey, thank thank you. I was waiting for you to take a picture because a picture is worth a thousand words. I was not <laughs> supposed to be a drag queen. I was supposed to be a thing, mechanical engineer. But I said, you know what? Let me be drag one day. And I did it. And I put my mind to this competition. And I know what I'm taking home. The crown. <laughs> if another girl tries to wow. come for me. I'm going to have to lay down. <laughs> I think that's paying it on. <laughs> my name is Lexi Love, and I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. The wow. story of my name. I thought that Lexi Love was cute and playful and still very, very feminine and not too, like, drag queen. And my drag mom's last name was Love, so I had to take it. My if you see a wrinkle for style, style, for style. I yeah. am a hardcore entertainer, but I want to make sure that I tell you a story in that three and a half minutes that I'm performing. You need to feel a beginning, a middle, a climax, and an end. This is but stunning. Tell this baby, I look like, you know, another pretty girl a lot of the times, and people don't think I'm going to do anything special. So, got to keep them guessing. When it was time to arrive here, I used my powers of persuasion to convince everyone around me that I should be naked, like I am most Sounds of the like time. Sounds like plain James Boris. So I am now covered in pounds and pounds of RuPaul's Drag Race Twitter. Do you all not see why I am so different and so unique? I had a <laughs> really, really rough backstory and to believe that i'm here now the only thing i want to do is know that i'm positively affecting other people's lives everything that i do is surrounding love and making others feel loved so when you come to a Lexi love show it's not only the feeling that you get when you're watching me but it's when you're interacting with me taking photos with me the people in the communities that we're performing for deserve that one-on-one -on -one interaction. That was something that inspired me growing up in this art form, and it's something that's getting lost. So I might not be book smart, but honey bunny, the street smarts that I have learned in this life could fill a college. I used to work for zero dollar pay. I would probably make $15 tips on like, let's say a Tuesday or Wednesday. And I would use that money to buy a pack of cigarettes, some McDonald's, and to get back to the bar the next night for work. That is lip syncing for your life. Yeah, that was funny. Oh, blood, honey. You know what I mean? I have Cherokee Indian in me, so I have high cheekbones. I've got a low voice and I've got a big... So it's a lot. I fill a room when I step a big toe in it. What it means for me to be on season 17 of RuPaul's Drag Race is literally something I can't put into words. My mind is just truly alone. I should not be here right now. I should be dead in a gutter. And it's that I want how to do well. Swimming like a mermaid. I am American's like next drag. Seems like she went to do like to put stuff. the work in. All I can do is Everybody. show you what it means to me. And that is exactly. my full intention to become. That is very elaborate. I'm not yeah. actually doing I would do that. A little rude I earlier. Would. At the stop, the stars three Z's. Hello, hey. my name is Lucky Stars with as many Z's as you want to add. <laughs> I am originally from Havana, Cuba, but I now reside in Miami, Florida. Lucky stars came from my obsession with stars. I'm obsessed with space. I love galaxies. I love planet stars. And as a kid, I was obsessed with like vintage cartoons. And they always incorporated stars, rainbows, and little things like that. So I feel like that just inspired me. I added these because I'm tired. <laughs> the drag scene in Miami is very hot. Kind of like me. Very sweaty. It's very pageant. Very showgirl. Very like human hair unit. And I am nothing of the sort. I break all the rules, and that's why I survive down there. I always like to say that I am a Venus flytrap in a room full of roses. Don't get too close because I might just bite. My style is very colorful, very I crafty, how and conventional. And I feel like we need to start adding more you know, to drag chill. because yeah, the world got to be extra. I backflip, I frontflip, wow. left flip, right flip. You thought my was the freedom flips, baby. You ain't seen nothing yet. I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> I just like the duck walk, and I do a little funky tarantula, you know, a little banana doo-doo here and there. I have my pearl here, and it shoots pearls. 
But we won't show that state. When people first meet me, they look at me as like a theme park attraction. They just want to take pictures. They're like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Can I take a picture? I love the idea of shocking people. How would they react if they see a walking tree with big old apple tits? The weirdest thing about me is that I have brain farts 24 7. I can never think of it. If another thing comes for me, I will snap. And when I snap, I snap real hard and real strong. <laughs> not joking, bitch. I'm very fluent in Spanish. And I was born in Cuba. I'm not like one of these people who oh. say they're Latina and can't even say, Si, yo soy cubano y estoy en la gran carrera de RuPaul. Y voy a ganar. Voy a ganar la corona. Si, si. I feel like this season is going to be full of shocking surprises. Real wet, real hot and steamy, full of backstabbery. Oh, really? Crazy drama. Oh my god. Our cast of young, dramatic ass bitches. I'm America's Next Jack Superstar because I am somebody that comes from the dirt, darling. I have done all of the work to get here. I have the hot glue gun burns to prove it. I have the paper cuts to prove it. I am somebody who brings that old school craftsmanship with that new school innovation. I am colorful. I'm out of the box. I'm unique. Unique? So why not give me a crown? And I'm not talking about the crowns in my <laughs> I'm talking about an actual crown, okay? This season is, uh, she's got some fun in store for you. Expect drama, slapping, fighting, fighting. <laughs> oh my we'll god. See what shakes down. <laughs> Spicy season. <laughs> my name is Lydia Butthole Collins, and I am from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Butthole. I was sort of bestowed uh. the name Butthole. I just went with Lydia Collins originally, and I guess that wasn't enough, so people started to add the B, and I thought it would be really funny to name myself Butthole. Butthole is my grandmother's name, first name. Pittsburgh is full of little freaks, artsy kids, the weirdos, just the most disgusting people in the world, and I would not want it any other way. I did go to school for film, so a lot of my drag is viewed through the lens of movie makers. I love John Walker. Sure, needles green from David Pittsburgh. Lynch. That's what sort so of drives my drag. I the love Lyosica. irreverence. I, um, it. I love something that is larger than life. I just want to do the kind of drag that you would see on a massive rose tinted stage. I would say my style is very alternative, very gothy, grungy, and I don't like boring drag. Sorry not to yell, but. What makes me different from any other queen, I don't think is necessarily tangible. I don't think you can grab it, touch it, or squeeze it. I'm just so fucking talented. I actually am very humble, because something about these bright lights, I don't know, it's bringing something out in me. I just feel really C-U-N-T right now. I think people honestly are not all that impressed with me when they first see me. I think people will write me off, but don't do that, because the button will shart on you. Um, <laughs> what's the strangest thing about you? I could do this with my stomach. No. Okay, it looks a lot better not in this outfit. I am actually Shakira. <laughs> I love puppets. I make a lot of puppets. I love to like be inside of the puppet. On stage, like I want to be the bones of the puppet that's controlling it. I might have a god complex. I don't think there's any misconceptions about me. Um, what you see is what you get, and what you think of me is probably true. I guess the misconception is that I'm not so ultra kitty cat meow, mother of the house. If a queen comes for me, I'd probably grab them by their wig and throw them to the floor. No, I would probably just be like, okay, whatever, girl, you're right, and have a laugh. Because if you have something to say about me, it's none of my business. To be on the 17th season of RuPaul's Drag Race is just the most massive dream come true. It's just surreal. It's everything that I've ever wanted since 2016. I did not think that the pinch me moments were real. I was like, no, nah, you don't need to do that. But genuinely, I feel like I need to pinch myself because it feels like a dream. I am America's Next Drag Superstar because no one can do what I can do. I'm a one-stop shop. I make everything I wear. I make all my mixes. Oh. I have such a clear vision of what I want my drag to be. I have yet to see someone like Lydia Butthole Collins grace the stage of RuPaul's Drag Race. Don't you see this face? Oh, so this face oh. says it all, that I am a painter. I am the Van Gogh of I'm the drag nerves. scene. No, <laughs> I am the Kahindi Wiley of the drag scene. No, no, no. I am the Jackson Pollock of, no, no, no. The Andy Warhol of the drag scene, baby. You see it. <laughs> Good personality. Yeah.
On your nerve. Action. My drag name is On Your Nerve. That is O N Y A N U R V E. And I am straight out of Cleveland, Ohio. My name came Wait, from my um, mom's name. Her name is Nina. My brother said, Why don't you be Anya and making your nerve? Because on your nerve. And it just stuck. It is a crowd pleaser. When you hear that name, you know you're going to have a good time. It do take nerve, baby. <laughs> the drag scene in Cleveland, I would consider it pretty competitive. So you got your pageant queens, you got your alternative entertainers, you have your kings, and you have a lot of newer entertainers. There's a lot of influence in like the That's college scene King of people still drag. Right? Burlesque is super Cleveland. popular. There are only a handful right. of black entertainers in Cleveland, so I think I stood out in that Outside way. Of it. And I'm just a bad bitch. I would consider my drag a balance of drama, theater, art, sprinkled on top, a lot of like blackness and glamour. I've heard that I come off like I have a resting bitch face. I think I'm a very warm person. I feel like I give like auntie mothery vibes. So that can come off as like aggressive or mean, but I'm usually coming with love. I'm just looking out for my sister. <laughs> Something strange about me is I really dislike video games. And I think Animal Crossing specifically, that's the one that really gets me. It be full grown adult playing like a five-year-old game. I'd be like, this is wild. I think there's a lot of other things that could be getting done besides like building an imaginary house. <laughs> uh, that's very true. true. <laughs> But I love the game. Person. I'm used to like auditioning uh -huh. for things. And since I've done it so long, like I'm just conditioned to be the best at things. I was also in speech and debate, state champion, which is a very competitive sport. Mm -hmm. If oh. another queen comes for me, I will put that bitch in her place swiftly and cleanly. Trust me. <laughs> Being on season 17 feels like it was meant to be. It feels correct. So it's not surprising to me that I'm here. I worked really hard to get here. And I want this more than all of these other bitches. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people are going to say that these are a bunch of catty bitches, a bunch of young bitches. Bitches don't know how to shut up. Bitches just say what they want to say. It's going to give old school drag with a new spin. And we're going to give them exactly what they want. Everybody seems America's next young. Yeah. Because when I get on that I don't stage, think anybody's I in their 40s. every ounce of my morsel and I leave no freaking crumbs. I have a presence that just needs to be seen and felt. And I'm just that bitch. Crown her, baby. I was competitive cheerleader when I was a kid. Wow. I was like this big and the big strong men were throwing me in the air. That's when I realized I was gay. I was like, do I like cheerleading or do I like getting thrown around by these hot men? <laughs> I love danger. If they didn't catch me, maybe they would give me like that now. I'm working for cheer team right now, so I understand. <laughs> What's going on? Sam Star. Action. I'm Sam Star. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. Can I get a yeehaw? Shoot, nice. My drag wow. name was given to me by my fabulous birth mother. My name out of drag is Sam. So I couldn't think of a better name than Sam. I also like alliteration and I'm a star. So Sam Star. <laughs> The drag scene in Birmingham is definitely old school. It's been around forever and we're pageant heavy. I would say I'm old Hollywood glamour, always Southern inspired. I love a good cowgirl hat and some cowboy boots. What makes me different than all the other queens is that I'm actually nice and I have a good heart, unlike some of these bitches. I'm very silly and lighthearted. I love people, so I love to socialize, meet new girls, unless they're some of the girls in this competition. I would say I'm the most competitive girl in the competition. Really? I yeah. cannot even play Monopoly in my house because it might end in homicide. I did not talk to my sister for a week because she beat me at Monopoly. If there's money and a crown on the line, <laughs> I have plenty of friends, girl. I'm trying to get that. You're going to have some other girl come in here and take my money? Not on my watch. I really don't think any of these queens would come for me. I was the one in middle school having to read all the straight bullies to get them to stop picking on me. So I like to think I have a quick wit and a fierce tongue. Well, the fierce tongue, at least that's what the boys say. I like to think I'm a versatile queen. That's what my grinder profile says. I sing, I dance, I act, I tumble, I give you a ballad. Girl, I mean, what can I say? I remember seeing Alyssa Edwards on Drag Race for the first time. <laughs> then I got into Alyssa's Secret, which is a whole other earthworm. Or what do they say? Whole other wormhole? Some type of hole, girl. Oh my God. Anyway, 
I'm related to her son. <laughs> he was a small town boy, lives in Texas. I'm in Alabama. We're like basically neighbors. We're both dancers. We're both pageant queens. If I don't faint for RuPaul, I'll faint for Alyssa Edwards. So either way, I'm going to faint. Maybe one of them can catch me and one of them can give me mouth to mouth for RuPaul. She's going to be on the Call show. Me. I don't want to get emotional because we're going to be like I know, just all. kind of to insinuated be that of this amazing legacy that Alyssa Edwards in so many ways. I'm so grateful and so you just uh, the show. like we love said you. something for supporting hey, no surprise <laughs> okay I think that people are going to you love this group of girls scene. who are silly and not afraid to have a good time I only have one thing to say I'm gonna pop off ow I'm America's Next Drag Superstar because I'm the only bitch in this race who has the name Sam Star. It's literally in my name. I see. Actually, maybe I should make my This name. person Super out of drag. Yeah. So Superstar. bad. Can we call him Paul? Like, this, this, like eight, this has got to be some pretty boy. I am so used to queens <laughs> coming for me. I pity them. Underestimate me. Go ahead. Please do I encourage you. You're going to have fight. Claws and blood. Try me, bitch. It's over. I kind of like that so far. Actually, my name is Susie Toot, and I am from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Oh. Fort Liquordale. I've been told it's called. I didn't know that before now. One day, I was, like, painting, getting ready for one of my first shows, and my mom came by, and she was like, oh, do you have a drag name? I was like, oh, yeah, it's yours. I forgot to tell you. It wasn't a tribute as much as it was set. It's like, no, I want that name. And now when you Google Susie too, guess what? I pop up. <laughs> so she didn't send like a sister. No, not yet. She can change her name to Susan the Sis. You're welcome. <laughs> the drag play too oh, wow. is part performance art, kooky weirdo, part Broadway cabaret deep. I enjoy getting clowny and getting crazy. I sing, I dance. She's an actress. A book stage yeah. and I also love to design. I like to sketch my looks. I like to direct my style. Very pop, very 2000s. Britney Spears is sort of my main style icon. I'm lying. Uh, <laughs> so I was very inspired by obviously Betty Boo. To have to uh, my entire life in high school, I was watching Debbie Reynolds, Eleanor Powell. Ruby Keeler is a huge one. Women of the 1920s. What's the strangest oh, thing you nailed it, 1920. This is a wide range of music. But <laughs> maybe a quarter is Halloween music. Halloween music is a very special set. There are bands that are completely dedicated to like a macabre, spooky, like I could put you on Zombina and the Skeletones in Cool Pop, baby. Like, and of course, I... the Monster Mash is on repeat. I love her. The biggest misconception <laughs> about me is that I am Truly, just a I love her. Broadway queen. I'm so much more than that. There is a complex world of universes inside the Susie Tudorverse. <laughs> She's going into the doesn't sound like she posted. Now, you know, it's like nervous nervous don't come with me the way she presented. Stuff. That was great. There's math in the show. Uh, I love to glue because there's no math. I've done looks where it was like completely made out of dollar bills. I did wear money, Ginger Rogers, and I did a Twizzler dress. I shut that down. It ate. <laughs> I am America's next drag superstar because I am ready to go in there and take the crown. It's mine. I see it. I want it. And I deserve it. So I'm going to get it. And that's what you could expect on season 17. This January, 14 new queens are making a splash on MTV. Where's that the full hour? Yeah. Can I it? It's to, oh my God. There seems like some really talented yeah. girls. I feel sorry if they are not used to performing these girls. Some of the ones that are looks for the right. This is a strong, strong, strong cast. Lana Jolene. She's going to be strong. There's so many strong yeah. ones in here. Making it easier way. Because weather's better in.
they can they they are going home like one by one like they are like so strong to me. <laughs> New yeah, Friday, normally you can spot the fillers. Yeah. I don't see too many fillers. <laughs> wow. That was good. That's awesome. Very good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like, it's getting harder and harder to get on the show. Like, you gotta be polished as yeah. shit and funny as shit. Right. You just can't be the half ass <laughs> drag like, queen. Plain season there. one. <laughs> and then just watching that promo yeah. the difference of what's happened in however many it's not 17 years is it yes, it, it is it's actually one a year it, yeah they didn't produce two sometimes uh -huh. 17 years difference <laughs> i guess that doesn't that is yeah. quite a bit it used to be on the smaller screen too <laughs> right it wasn't on this it, it was squared off if i remember it correctly and fuzzy as hell, like you're looking through a gel lens. And I bet this is gonna be great season, in spicy season. Like I see a lot there's of some, uh, mm -hmm. thing in. Uh, <laughs> there's gonna be a little weeks. bit of some conflict going on, <laughs> and people who know how to serve it. Yeah. So it'll be fun watching them yes. serve it, as long as they're not being like hateful. Right. But that'll give us somebody to not like then. <laughs> I don't like her. She's too mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What did you think about this cast? Please tell us, comment below. And if you like our reactions, please hit like button. If you haven't subscribed our channel yet, please subscribe now. And if you want to see the unedited versions without all the Mickey Mouse voicing, go to thecutiesquad.com. All right. So excited. See you next time. Janet. Bye. Love you. Bye.